Hey, hey, hey. It's another fucking day. Oh, yeah. It's not on the bicycle at all. I'm not returning my Insta 361 RS at the moment. I don't have to yell. I got the Sonova microphone adapter with the Yolanzi PT20 on. You bet. And I got the wireless go by the road. Yeah. Did you just see that car run that stop sign? I sure did. Uh, turn the camera back around on me, man. I am going to have so much fun with my Insta 360 One X2. You bet, man. You bet. So off we go. The only vlogger in my town. You bet. So let's get this show rolling. Not all shots are going to be with the Insta 360 One RS. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not all shots are going to be with the Insta 360 One X2. I really love the GoPro, and I'll give you one awesome reason in a second. I just turned on the Insta 361 RS and I'm shaking all over. So I'm out here, as you can see, always filming with the GoPro. And the GoPro is showing you the camera and how I'm filming. And now, software of the program. Yeah. That's going to be the, uh, the program. Yeah, that's going to be the, uh, the key with the Insta360 and the RS. And you got to turn flow state off. You turn it off, it opens up another world of worms. And it gives you horizon level lock. And then all your footage needs to be posted in the software in order to get it to work. So either you have stabilization on or stabilization off. GoPro, you keep stabilization on or off or whatever you want and you still get horizon level lock. I had my shot, I had my shots and I put the camera in my back pocket and I have a lens protector with the uh, sticky lenses on. And I know what's gonna happen one day. I'm gonna go sit down and I'm gonna crack those lenses on the camera because of that. And the GoPro, I won't. That's the difference with the 360 camera and the GoPro. One's a rounded lens, one's a flat lens. It was like pulling daisies, the petals. Should I keep it? Should I not? Should I keep it? Should I not? and i'm not keeping it one of the main reasons is i want to use 6k and i know 6k is being cropped top and bottom and it's putting black bars on the damn video damn damn I'm not out of damn i'm at a highway <laughs> People like a looking. I gotta get a move there. And when I uh, take the, you know, footage into my post, my editor, that's what I see. I see. Why am I so cropped? And uh, I guess I'm not used to 6K. But. The main reason in the 6K, I got all that interference, all that audio interference. 
and that's not what I asked for. I didn't ask for interference, and I didn't ask for an unstable video that I got to put into post and edit. Flow states immediately turned off by 75%. GoPro Hero 10, horizon level lock is on with HyperSmooth 4.0 in any of the stabilizations added or off. The Insta 361 RS, horizon level lock is not available with flow state enabled on. It must be disabled and you must use Studio 2022 to, you know, stabilize the footage with flow state. And that is not what I wanted. 6K Ultra can be done in GoPro. All you do is put in the settings of 6016 by 2560 or 2580. Hi. Not remember it'll correct itself when you do it and then all you do is just bring it on out to the corners stretch it and you got <laughs> ultra 6k active HDR it uh, basically gives a ton of flare and the Insta 361 RS maybe one day GoPro will get it and if I wanted to tweak to look like Active HDR, I'll just use color grade or correctly do it myself. I had fun, trust me. But I don't want to keep something that I'm not happy with for me. I didn't take the time to learn it. Sure I did. I took the time like everybody else. And things were just basically hidden if asked for. Five, six, seven. I gave like a seven second count. And I'm here just safely going over onto the highest point of the rock. I'll go over here, which is right in the beautiful spot. Nice flat rock. My Insta360 is not waterproof. Because I have, again, the PT20 Sonova adapter and the door open. Now, I got some pigeons and I got some uh, starlings. Uh, they're coming towards the bike and me. And we're watching the sunrise. And that constant uh, noise is the highway motorcycle in the distance quiet or car and the sun is just peeking above the clouds my arm is getting tired and i got the short compact selfie stick i'm going to bring it in just a little bit ah high tide yes indeed it's a beautiful shot, indeed. It's a cold day, indeed. I am keeping the Insta 361 X2. I could return it. I still got the time, the return period, but not as long as Amazon. And I don't think I want to again return the camera. It's not about me buying and returning and just shoving it on YouTube. It's about me liking something. I'm wanting to get to like the cameras. Well, I can take the time, put each video into 360 and do my editing. And that's what I'm going to like to do. I can share all the fun with you. And I can up convert with the studio. So that's how things are done. Nobody's going to know the difference of the up convert if I say, hey, this is a GoPro footage or not. There's the sun, nice and high. And the only time you're going to know is when it starts to uh, flare and see the scene. I got nothing to lie about, nothing at all.
when I put the footage up, it's just footage. In my hands over here, I got the cover. It will go on with everything on the camera, but it won't go on in my pocket with everything. And maybe that's where I can holster the camera to the side. <laughs> Be good to do that, but I don't know. I got to get myself a bike mount, all that good stuff. Well, the sun risen. I had a good time. I shot a good five minute video sharing the Insta360 One X with you. And that's what this vlog was about. So let me safely get back off of these uh, jetties and get on where I need to go. How did I go, fish? I can't remember how I got on here. Oh, take your time. I'll get to need to be where I need to be at. I am off just like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, they say you could do a lot of things in the Insta360 app. And I'm not about here to try them out at the moment. Down the road, I get to try them out when it's a little warmer and quieter. I had a nice bike ride to the uh, ocean. And that is the inlet, the, the bay. And I gave a nice talk. And I hope I can remember the uh, sequence, the order I shot my videos with the Insta360 ONE RS and put them in there. So I do apologize if I incorrectly get some scenes messed up. I am still and always thinking every single time I use my laptop, my editor. The Adventure Resolve, man, let me tell you. When I did my love and hate relationship, the dislikes and likes, I got to the very end. And sure enough, uh, on the portable drive, it uh, made a hiccup, the drive, and it could not find the drive resolved. So I had to go on to Power Director and do all my video. And it took me half the time or less. And I got the job done. But I didn't get the quality I wanted. And that's something that I like and resolve. Excellent quality. I know I'm going to hear from my friend and some others when they watch. Oh, you can't keep anything. You always return it. I am still, again, with an M1. 16 inch Macintosh, a laptop, and M2 is coming out any day now, soon, I hope. And is it worth getting one? It's going to be more money than the M1. And I know I can use DaVinci Resolve, but I won't be able to use Power Director. I hit that keyhole, man. I won't be able to get Power Director on it. I know they make it for Macintosh. I, I believe they make it for Macintosh. But at least I have something backed up I could use. Well, that's why I'm a Windows person. I'm always with Windows, and that's my problem. I can't find a hold the laptop like I have in my home. And if I find a new one, which I had, it was that uh, I just can't remember the name of that laptop I had. But it had been Samsung, and I didn't like it. It, it. it was expensive, it was super thin, it was super damn hot on the lap. The base was hot as soon as you turned it on. I like the Lenovo ThinkPad I got, but when I used my Magics on it, it just made it entirely different. And I don't think I want to get a Lenovo, but I got my older one. And it just seems to be a little slower, very slow indeed. And I got my Surface Pro to use, so I got two laptops. And eh, 
put a portable drive on it, just use it the way it is until you find something fish. You'll get the uh, the one you want eventually. Ah, uh, this is like a good place to sit down and think. Ah, uh, I remember what I said. I don't want to sit down with the Insta 361 X2 and its lens. You got to be smart. If they break, you know, you can always uh, clean it up and get rid of the glass and just put stickies on it. And then you got one less protection. Beautiful shot indeed to get some uh, photos, but I don't have the long stick. This is the longest it opens up. A little over three feet. Just three feet. I always use the uh, quick start on. on. Look over there. You got a swan. Ah, uh, time to wrap this up. You get the shot on the bicycle, like so. And have a great day. Hope you all had a great time with me and the Insta 360. How <laughs> was I fly through the chairs? I don't think I did that perfect, but you got to be real smooth. Now I did this before. I'm yelling to the camera. I'm not using the Sonova microphone and wireless go. I had a great time doing the vlog. And I am going to rip open that box again. And I want to show everybody what the camera can do, what I like and dislike showing the camera. Just with the hands and the camera. A lot of people out there do video and that's all they show. All they show is this in their videos. And that's all they're able to do. They're afraid to get their you know, story across in the real world. And we are all good with how we do this. Well, I'm going to say, let's roll that outro. <laughs>
I hope you got some sense out of this vlog today and uh, made a good, uh, you know, talk about it and all. And I got different scenes and different cameras and all. So what's in store for uh, everybody else? Oh, I always got reviews coming in, so check them out in uh, the mid-afternoon and check my vlogs out high noon and check out other stuff early in the morning. Have a great day. I'll see you in the wee hours of the night.